Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Precision Manufacturing System. I'm back with another interesting video regarding the DEM series video. Uh, uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, uh, particle generation using uh, lights uh, software. And uh, if you guys see my previous video, uh, in my previous video, we generated a single size particle uh, but as you can see here uh, in this video i'm going to uh, explain about uh, explain how we can generate multi-size particle using lights uh, um, software okay uh, uh, before starting the video uh, i really grateful if you could uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and be a strong motivation for uh, my channel and our group to generate uh more video uh for you guys thank you so much and uh let's start the video uh if you guys see my previous video uh, which i talked and explained uh fully about the I lights imp you can understand how you should uh write your and prepare your imp for particle generation uh, in this video i'm not uh going to detail for explaining the uh, lights IMP and uh, just briefly explain uh, here we uh, define the particle shape and the boundary condition of our uh, actually the boundary uh, it could be fixed or uh, periodic or something like that and here we define the uh, metrics of uh, our unit of our uh, model and uh, here actually we define our boundary uh, as you can see my boundary is defined like this uh, x y z and uh, actually my the height of my uh, rv or die is 0.1 centimeter but uh for some reasons that i explained in my previous video and i highly recommend that you guys uh watch that video uh I, we have to uh, specify some more space uh, to our uh, rv uh, or for particle generation okay and here we assign uh, material property and define material property uh, young modulus Poisson ratio and here we define uh, the uh, contact property uh, here we assign the contact property and material property to our particle and model uh, and then uh, here we use uh, Hertz model uh, for contact generation and the time step uh, and uh, actually we have two step uh, steps here one for generation and another one for total downing the uh, particles and then uh, we define the gravity in z direction uh, uh, after that we recall uh, the the our model uh, such as uh, doi here it, uh, we name and uh, the the pass uh, where our model is and then the the name of the stl file uh, and uh, since i modeled my model in, in a millimeter uh, then i have to scale it and convert it to centimeter for that's why uh, we use this parameter to scale and convert the millimeter to centimeter and then uh, for uh, inlet we use this name and uh, again surface planner and the file name the uh, folder name where our model is and again the name of the model steel file uh, and the type here we uh, specify the type uh, actually the first type is particle and the second one is die then here uh, the 
important uh, things and important section for this video uh, is here uh, that you should care about it and uh, you should specify the different size of particle in here uh, in, in our previous tutorial we have just single uh, particle with single size but here we have two different uh, particle with different uh, radius and size and actually with different volume fraction uh, we can define our model and for our another uh, size of particle uh, like this pts 2 or 3 or whatever you have uh, for your model and uh, the shape of particle uh, i explained about that number in my previous video and your uh, actually density and uh, the radius that uh, should be in centimeter uh, uh, and then uh, we use this pdd uh, and uh, which we define our distribution uh, and uh, here we have two different particles if you have more than and you should uh, you should uh, increase this number and pts1 the volume fraction of the first um, uh, type of uh, particle is 0 0.3 and for the second one is 0 0.7 and here we define our uh, area for our inlets uh this is our area x y and z which i defined uh, my uh, inlet is a uh, plane which is uh, located in height of 0 0.1 centimeter and then uh, after that we here here we define our inlet uh, spe specification such as um, the, the the name of our distribution uh, max attempt mass and mass rate and if we need uh, overlap check we should uh, put here yes or no if you don't want you can select no uh, volume uh, velocity constant in z direction if your model is another direction uh, in generation is in another direction you should change it in, uh, and uh, the name of insertion phase and the, the the volume or the area which you want to specify for generation uh, as you know uh, i specify the total height for z direction 0.15 and uh, until 0 0.1 is my model and my uh, uh, inlet plane uh, and uh, above that uh, until uh, this number plus 0 0.1 uh, we uh, specify for particle generation area and then uh, here uh, i actually uh, disactive this command and i don't uh, want in this simulation uh, and here we can define our model for running it's somehow uh, defining a job in like in abacus what we did in abacus you can uh, specify your job model or uh, whatever you call it job name here and then here you should uh, specify what kind of uh, output you need uh, ID type or XYZ coordinate and uh, velocity in XYZ and force mass radius or whatever you need you can find in the uh, lights uh, actually document and uh, use that and define here and uh, here is some threshold or a limitation for uh, uh, for uh, stopping and terminating the simulation uh, I would like uh, to have the result until this number and uh, after this number my simulation uh, will be terminated and then the second uh, steps will actually start it uh, and let's see the actually um, that's how would be the simulation okay uh, as i told you guys before we need uh, youtube on to uh, 
actually a software or model for running uh, and then we have to use this code for uh, passing the our file and uh, running the model and then start our simulation is just started and after a second uh, it will be done and then we can see the result okay the first step is done uh, and is being doing the second step okay the simulation was done and uh, as you can see the total number of particle which uh, uh, actually were created is around 1191 and let's see the result uh, let me okay let's open our model in ProView software and I told uh, I have another video in my channel uh, which explain how you can uh, use ProView for visualization uh, visual, uh, visualizing the actually uh, particle and the obtained result from uh, lights because as you can see the default shape of uh, radius is like a point as you can see here but we need a real shape for that so you should click on this option and then put type on a sphere and scale array you, we choose radius and then click on this to specify the correct size of radius we have two from uh, 35 micrometer until 80 micro micrometer and then use access grade and camera parallel projection apply so as you can see we have two different size particle and then we can see the result as you can see the particle particles are generated uh, and uh, this area as i told you guys in the uh, IMP uh, we specified this area for particle generation you can increase this number or decrease it but you have uh, consider your model and your uh, the amount of mass which you want to actually uh, generate uh, thank you so much uh, th this is for this uh, tutorial and uh, I really grateful if you guys could subscribe to my YouTube channel and be strong motivation for us. Uh, please don't uh, forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, and uh, watch uh, and benefits from uh, the the video and helpful and uh, practical video which uh, are in my model uh, in my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. See you guys. Bye.